Hey guys and gals, I got another one for you today. Today I am going to be talking about the gold spam. Is the gold spam real? Well, this is actually just like a couple snapshots out of a ton of games, but I read on Reddit this post about uh, why do people use gold spam, and there's an interesting argument. It's in the game. Everyone can use it. Why do people think it's an unfair advantage? And it's an interesting thought. Another thing I read inside that post was somebody that claimed if you go through everyone in the game, generally less than half have premium rounds, not to mention the people that die in the first five minutes of the match or a third of the match that don't even have time to utilize their premium rounds and Nobody really called this person out on Reddit. It just kind of seemed to be ignored. And I wanted to paste some of the posts on this video and just kind of show you some, but the next day after I collected this information, I went to go on Reddit and clip some of the screenshots or the messages on the Reddit post. It was not on there anymore, or I couldn't find it. So. I'm gonna, you're just gonna have to go with hearsay. You're gonna have to believe Mustard Map um, when he says that he read all this information. But even if I was lying, it obviously is talked about a lot. So is the gold spam real? Well, coming from a guy who played free to play for I don't even know how many games, but the a very huge portion of the beginning of my career on world of tanks i only got premium if i earned it um, or if there was like a three days off that i had from work um, that i knew my wife wouldn't care if all i did was sit and play tanks and take advantage of the premium time saying that as I absolutely destroy this freedom. Let's let's enjoy this for a second. What a beautiful thing. And there we go for the ram. All right, now let's get back to my thoughts, deep thoughts with Mustard Map. So, as a free-to-play player, um, and you watch my, if you ever watch my videos, I suggest that you have five premium rounds on every tank. A minimum and then also a maximum for when you're starting out playing. If you have more than that and you really don't understand when to use or how to use your premium rounds, you're not gonna make money. And silver and XP is so important in this game, especially towards the beginning when you're trying to grind multiple lines. And it just gets very difficult, so Nice assist, Artie. Appreciate that. So, what I'm getting to is a lot of the times, newer players, even though they have the same advantage as everyone else, they could put premium rounds on their tank. It's just not efficient for them to be able to advance down the lines that they're working on or advance in the game if they pack their tanks full of premium rounds let alone do they understand the whole concept of all the different rounds and what they do. I'll be the first one, well maybe not the first one, but I want, I'm not afraid to admit that when I first started out, I was tempted by the HE rounds. But hold that thought. Let's uh, count this game. There's one. How many people actually have premium rounds in their tanks? Neither artillery in my team have premium rounds. T28 does not have premium rounds. LT432, premium tank. E ELC even 90, premium tank. Bad Chat, not a premium tank. VK3002, not a premium tank. Panther, not a premium tank. Also doesn't have premium rounds. T34100, not a premium tank. 
Pershing does have premium rounds, not a premium tank. Centurion 1 does not have premium town. Oh, can't talk. Premium rounds, not a premium tank. CDC, premium rounds, has a premium tank. Boulder has premium rounds. And he only has six, so I probably shouldn't even count him, and I'll talk about that at this point. This guy carries two APCRs with him, and this was really like my life once I started finding out premium rounds and what they did. This guy has five AP rounds, but he's not premium HE rounds. This guy also has two AP rounds, but no premium HE rounds. Six Excalibur does not have any premium rounds. So what's interesting as I flick through these, the SU-101 does not have premium rounds, and I was very surprised how many people actually didn't carry premium rounds. Now we get to the LTTB, now this guy is platooned up with this guy, which also has premium rounds, and this guy, which also has premium rounds, and this is a premium tank, the LTTBs are not. But this guy has five APCR rounds, so he goes off my rule of thumb. This guy is a premium tank, does not have HE or premium rounds. And really, it's just interesting to go through games and see who has premium rounds and who doesn't. Now this is the freedom that I destroyed and I made you guys watch. He does not carry premium rounds in his premium tank, neither does this Death Stalker. So now I kind of feel guilty. Black Prince is not a premium tank. And now we're back to me. So a total of 11 out of 30. Majority of them are premium tanks, but also premium tanks don't all have premium rounds in this match. And I didn't just hand pick this one, like go through a bunch. Now let's enjoy this moment. Artie's trying to do what good Artie's do and kill themselves. Unfortunately, he didn't do it at the beginning of the game, so I have to help him. Um... I can't remember where I was at. So it's interesting to think where everybody is at in the level of the game. How many of those people do you think actually use their premium rounds? Interesting thought. So we get to end game stats. Make 117,000. Get 5 kills, 2800 damage, blah blah blah. And going for my third mark of excellence in this thing and see how we're doing 92.5 getting close getting close that might be an upcoming video all right so let's stop kidding around let's jump into a tier 10 game and now i'm in my progetto on ravage capital which i prefer to be in a heavy tank but whatever i'll make do i'll take my quote unquote low dpm italian medium squishy tank into the city and there's only one way that I play this map. You gotta gotta win the south. You gotta win the south. Now, if you win the north, and you do it very quickly, and then you split your forces kind of down the side and then the other half through the middle, you can collapse the north on top of them and then pretty much surround them in the south. And I've seen it won that way. But majority of the time, this map is one in the south. But that's not what we're here for, right? We're here for premium rounds. I load 12 heat on this tank, and I honestly don't use 12 heat in any match that I've ever played in this tank that I recall. Now, I could be lying to you here, but I really don't feel the necessity to use heat rounds in this tank. Uh, I've used HE on ship barns and waffles. And I'm sure I have used heat rounds on E100s and Russian tanks, mouses, so on and so forth. And do we go for a clip here or... Oh wait, no. We're a progetto. We don't have to go for a clip. We just automatically reload our gun, which is a sweet thing about the auto reloading system. Our E4 shuts down that baby Pershing. 
So now we're driving out into the middle in front of a lot of tanks. But we're gonna get to the side of this Carnarvon. See if we can shut him down. Lock his track down. We got one more shell. And we lock him back down. And we can't really do anything here, so we're going to reload. Now we've won the south. Mustard Map says if you win the south, you win the game. Well, we track the Carnarvon back in place, because my VK-72 can't kill him. Give him a nudge, get him destroyed, and take a beating from this waffle. Probably shouldn't have drove out there and done that. The Carnarvon was not worth that. Now, what our team did wrong is they are still in the south, or they have followed me into this terrible position in which we are now locked down because the northern team took the north so fast, then went down the side, split their forces, and put the rest in the middle, and now we are surrounded. And rather than getting on the cap, putting cap pressure, and forcing them into bad situations we have decided to just attack now i'm going to take the time to get out of that crappy position and if i die i die i just need to get in a better position to where i can help my team win so i scoot over here hopefully they are not going to cap and they're going to rotate down here i'm waiting for some help here comes a Death Star, and that is just what I needed. So now, after he shoots, if they rush him, I should be able to clip out whatever is on the base. Except, he scared them away. Alright, so we'll push up. We'll try to get some shots into this 140. At the same time, I've gotten away from the talk about gold rounds. Um, so now that I've advanced, and I only have currently not at the same time of this video but now currently i only have two more tanks to unlock and i have a ton more premium tanks than what i used to have when i first started because of this i can afford to put 12 premium rounds on my progetto 65. i can afford to put 20 rounds on a tank that carries 60 shells like it just makes sense to have them when you're in situations where you just have to get the shells out and make sure that you pen it. In high pressure situations you want to make sure that you're penning so um, it's good to have those rounds and you won't get an RNG roll that will mess you up like that one shooting a 30B in the, in the belly pan when you miss to the right and this track instead. We hit the IS-7, he takes us down and now let's count not who has premium rounds but who doesn't have premium rounds in a tier 10 match? Is it going to be different? Well, Waffle, he carries five. And he carries, you know, he doesn't have a lot of ammunition. So we'll give him that. We'll, we'll count him as one. And then RDs are two and three. Object 140 has heat rounds. You can't have a Russian medium tank and not have those heat rounds. Those heat rounds are filthy. All right, Carnarvon, no premium rounds on the Carnarvon. Look at how this red team advances through the north. I know, I'm easily distracted, sorry. Another Artie, no premium rounds. Object 261, premium rounds. Death Star, premium rounds. Next Death Star, this is how you load a Death Star full of ammunition. All 12 shells, hash. That's how you do it. You don't mess around. Purging. Premium rounds. T-34-3. Premium rounds. Shout out to Mighty Whitey. The patent on my team. He is a subscriber. So I told you I'd feature this game. Um, just wasn't an amazing game that I could replay. 45B. Interesting. No premium rounds. 268. Um... Mostly HE rounds. Carnarvon, this guy almost didn't make it. Uh, he died, but he didn't also he did not carry premium rounds, so that's probably why he wanted to die. I gave the IS-7. I counted him towards this. 
which is a total of 21 out of 30. And I counted die as 7 because he only has 6 APCRs. He definitely could choose to have more. So 21 out of 30. Um, get to end game stats here. I take top dog. Mighty Whitey, he's in 5th place with 1,900 damage. I'm not even sure where he went on the map, but we ended up dying. So the real point of this video was to talk about gold spam. Is it real? Is it a thing? I don't think it's as apparent as most people make it out to be. I think that guy was spot on with not as many people carried as you think, not as many people have as much as you think, and... Not as many really understand how or when to use it anyways, or live long enough to use it. So, put your comments below what you think about the gold spam. Is it real? Um, there are definitely players that take full advantage of it, and it's okay. But as a free-to-play player, I'll be honest, it's kind of irritating when you come up against somebody that does have full gold, and you know you just can't afford to do the same. So. The nice thing is, is I've learned how to get through the game without having all that gold. And I think I've been a better player because of it. But you know what? I'll quit babbling. You guys comment below on what you think about the gold spam. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.